So you believe you will succeed? I think so before. Because she was a queen in her kingdom, this gave her the belief that she had the power enough to seduce Prophet TB Joshua, thereby fulfill her evil mission. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I declare her free today. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. She is undergoing deliverance in the power of the Holy Spirit, showing us that the name of Jesus Christ has power indeed. Holy Ghost, fire! She continues to roll on the ground, scratching her body, as the Holy Ghost fire burns every negative power in her system, disconnecting her from the kingdom of darkness. In Jesus' name. She is delivered in the power of the Holy Spirit and rises to her feet. Those whom the Son of God sets free are free indeed. Glory be to God. Since her deliverance, everything about Bemisola has become new. Old things have passed away. As the book of 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, she is a new creation. Let's hear a word from her. We welcome you to the Synagogue Church for Nations here in Lagos, Nigeria, in Jesus' name. Can you please introduce yourself to us? My name is Bemisola Ajayi. I came from Ogun State, Nigeria, and I'm here for the glory of God. Thank you. When you first came to the Synagogue Church for Nations, you said that you came to seduce Prophet TB Joshua. Can you tell us what would have happened to TB Joshua and his ministry if you had succeeded in seducing him? He will become a street boy. What I mean by saying he will become a street boy? You know, a man of God that has been praying for people, healing people, delivering people, saving people, helping people, have power of deliverance, he will become powerless. This is the holy mission of anyone who comes to seduce and sleep with him. You cannot remain in sin. I expect the grace of God to remain. Righteousness, blessings, sin brings destruction. Thank you. So what are you doing now? Since I've been delivered, I surrender my life to Christ Jesus. And I've been giving up to God because I don't want to go back to my past life, life of lying, confusion, blasphemy, going to party here and there. This is what happens to those who don't want to really accept our Lord Jesus Christ. Here I am today. I'm rejoicing in the Lord. I'm happy and I thank God for my life. I also thank God for the life of sinner prophet T.B. Joshua. God should continue manifesting his life for his name's sake. Emmanuel, thank you. The right hand of God is power. Oh, yes. Yeah. Father, we stretch our right hand to sanctify all the spirit and soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, all the spirit and soul, Father, sanctify them all in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Almighty, sanctify all the soul, spirit, and body in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, expose the speeches and wisdom in our means. Amen. Father, expose them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, expose them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, expose them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Not everyone comes to church with the intention to worship God. Some come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. As Prophet T.B. Joshua prays, Father, expose the witches and wizards in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Men and women begin to run, jump, and fall uncontrollably in the church premises. This can only be explained as the power of the Holy Spirit at work, exposing every contrary spirit, witch and wizard, that was in the congregation with the motive to confuse, to distract, and to destroy. See the ground covered with people who have been arrested by the power of the Holy Spirit, who are writhing uncomfortably as they feel the fire of the Holy Spirit all over their bodies. My name is Eberi Sunday. I am Obanje, agent of Satan, queen of the ghosts. Any man that make love with me will be destroyed totally. I came to destroy you, Pastor T.B. Joshua. 
So even though they even give me time, the day I would die if I didn't kill you. I just decide to come and kill you. I came with honey to destroy you. The sun is here inside my body. If I come, I will be selling you in my eye. If I come, I'll look at you. If you answer me, then we can go to hotel. I already, before I even come, I put the honey, then I put on my pants before I come. I use the power in my eye to seduce the body. You couldn't respond. As long as it's possible, what will happen? You'll be destroyed and you will lose this place you are staying. You'll be going around looking for women. You know, if I destroy you, your honey is finished. Nobody will know you again. I don't want to die. That's why I decide to kill you final. If I use the honey inside my body, when you're making love, you'll be enjoying me, you telling me, hello, honey, you're sweet, I can't leave you. By then, your own is finished. I put the many one inside my handbag in case of in case. I get the honey right from what I did. The honey stayed three months in the sea, my kingdom there. I have used it for a lot of um, men of God, and I destroy them. They are now going around looking for women, giving their... People pregnant up and down. They serve their wife. They don't have power again. They are even, in short, they are useless. Why I even be bold enough to come here because of powers that I have? The first day I came, I sit down up to two hours. When you came out, you were standing there praying. I said, ah, is it this man? Well, no problem. I have to do it. But when you walk close to me, man, the fire that was coming out from you was too much. I have to ship. Then you pass. When you come back, the kind angel that guide you. In short, I can't see their face. I only see their, their leg. So I have to hide on that chair. I go back. I decide to come back another day. They even rub my powder too. Where is the powder? It's here. In my shop, if I wake in the morning, I'll rub it in my face. I'll put it inside basin. I will folk and call the kind of men I want in my shop that day. I will get them. I will do it like this. I'll rub it in my face. Then the kind of men I want that, that I will get them. I'm the queen of the ghosts. I have seven crowns there. I can turn to dragon. I can just dress with my suit. If I get to hospital, I'll tell doctor I am sick. They will put me in sick bed. I'll bring my big toes. I will put it in the this in the bed like this. Any pregnant woman around cannot deliver the baby. I have sick here. If I bring the stick down, I will put the black powder on top. The woman begins to demonstrate how she uses the sticks and black powder to destroy people. She places the sticks side by side on the ground. She puts the black powder at the end of each stick. This is one of the methods she planned to use to destroy Prophet TB Joshua. She brings out a box of matches and lights the powder, setting the sticks on fire. She quickly moves out of the way as the hot sparks fly and thick smoke billows out, rising up from the ashes. When uh, the thing catch fire, I will open my eye. I will use the power in my eye to control the smoke, where the smoke will go. After I control the smoke, I will pick the two sticks up. If there are four or five or six, I will pick it up. If I want the person to get acid, then I will go and throw it on the street or main road. If most of pass, the person will get acid. If I want the person to seek well, well, then move the person all around. I will put it inside my handbag. I will go around. Ha the more I'm going around, the more they will be taking the person hospital to hospital. I'm not going to deliver you alone, but all things you have destroyed. You come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Why the Son of God Almighty come to give abundant life. Oh, yes. The power in me controlled me, pushed me all around to destroy. I was born with the power. As from my seven years, I destroyed a lot. But when I came here, I saw power that more than my power, I have to come down. And I can't believe in my life that I, Pink Lady, can be on the floor. I feel so surprised that something like this can happen to me. And I give thanks to God. I want to tell you, if you know you have some spirit in you, it can't help you. You only destroy you and destroy your life. And soon, 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 because I you know I've talked a lot about uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. If they tell me that I will come here, I don't believe. Yeah. Well, the first time I saw you was in the telly. Yes, ah, 
this man Pastor TV Joshua, who give this one power, this Yoruba man. Maybe you don't go to India and come back on the claim saying get how can winch deliver winch? I even thought say that I will go and find a very strong journalist to come and interview you. If you are not winch, how can you deliver winch? <laughs>